with babies. I also work in family planning and in fertility. Women in obstetrics and gynecology in Egypt are not very many, mainly because of social issues where they have to take care of a family. As a five-year-old, I really just liked the water. By the age of eight, I was competing in swimming and also winning the junior events. I was actually number one in Egypt by the age of 13. The Golden Fish was my nickname. Talent just took over in the beginning of my years. In Barcelona, I was one of the young athletes, so I didn't feel the pressure of having to do so well. You just had to do your best. From then on, it was one competition after another. There were very few international swimmers for Egypt, to the point that one time I went to World Cup in Paris, I didn't find my name in the start list because they mistaken the name and the time to be one of the men's because it was fast for women. For a sprinter, you need to learn to pace yourself. You need to not put all your energy in the beginning of the race. Always be prepared for your other career after. I received many scholarships to come and study in the United States. So I had to do pre-med and the biology degree when I was competing. It was very nice to see that your education and your sport don't have to be contradicting each other and you can do both. I didn't do well in the 96 Olympics. I had injuries, I had bad results. I was very disappointed. I felt like I can't do it anymore. But of course, I've gained this stamina or this endurance or this character from being an athlete. Pushing through what you have to do, being disciplined, being dedicated. The passion for my sport won me over. <laughs> I was dreaming so long about making it to the finals or the semifinals. My favorite moment was actually my last race. Stepping on those blocks for the 50 meter freestyle. You can hear the crowd as one voice. But then you have your water and you don't think about it anymore. You're just performing it your body automatically knows what to do. Your mind is actually racing as well as your body. It's disappointing to some level, but I was very happy. I was very proud of myself. I didn't care about the end of it. I cared that I reached what I wanted to be in. The passion that I had as a swimmer, I think now I have that passion for medicine. Sometimes I have patients come in and after they're done, they realize that it's me, the swimmer, the golden fish, 
It's really nice when they finally find out who I am. Some of them would name their daughter after me. It gives you an instant gratification about your job. There is little Rania's running around. <laughs> I'm hoping that this will continue. Egyptian women competing at high level in every aspect, not just in sport, in education, in government positions, in parliament, in medicine. I'm actually really happy watching those who come after me because you feel like you've been there and you want them to be even better than you. I'm mostly proud of being called an Olympian.